So in this video, I'm going to explain the four phases of bacterial growth. And so you may notice when you're looking at this, there are five phases. So there's the lag, exponential, stationary, death, and then long-term stationary. Most people don't talk about the long-term stationary phase as one of the main phases. So in this video, we won't talk about that as a phase. And in most of the classes that you take, it's going to just be the four phases up to here. So one, two, three, four. And so now let's go and talk about what exactly happens during these phases. So the first phase is the lag phase. And as you can see, this little bacteria is asking where, where am I? So during the lag phase, the bacteria adapt themselves to the growing conditions, and they're going to synthesize molecules such as DNA, RNA, enzymes, as well as other molecules so that the bacteria can divide and reproduce. So in this situation, when they have enough nutrients, the bacteria are going to start preparing for growth. And so this phase right here, the first phase, is called the lag phase. Another thing to keep in mind with all of these phases, and particularly the lag phase, is that depending on the bacteria, this phase can take a varying amount of time. So it can go on for several hours or many days. It all depends on the particular type of bacteria and how quick the bacteria can replicate. And so one more thing I want you to keep in mind is that during this phase, there is pretty much no bacterial growth. So now let's talk a little bit about the next phase, which is the exponential phase. However, sometimes people call it the log phase. And so as you can see during this phase, the bacteria are growing really rapidly, so the amount of bacteria is increasing very rapidly. And so during this phase, there's not much going on other than the fact that they're just growing extremely rapidly. So the bacteria are dividing every couple hours or a couple days, but point is during this phase, they divide very rapidly. And then eventually they're going to get to the point where the amount of bacteria being produced is equal to the amount of bacteria dying. So this usually happens when they start to deplete some of the nutrients that the bacteria needs to live. So as you can see here during the stationary phase, there's no bacterial growth. And so what this means is that the number of bacteria are relatively constant. So these bacteria have essentially reached what we call a carrying capacity, which is essentially the maximum amount of bacteria that the population can sustain. And this is due to a limited amount of nutrients. So if we think about it a little more in detail, there's essentially two things that can occur during this phase. So your nutrients are going to be consumed, and then there's going to be toxic waste products that are released. So as a result, you can't have a continuous growth, a continuous exponential growth forever. And so as time goes on, more and more of the nutrients are going to be used up, and then as a result some of the bacteria are going to start to die because there aren't enough nutrients. And so it's important to keep in mind that during this death phase right here, more bacteria are dying than are being produced. As a result, the bacteria population are de is going to decrease in size. And then it's also important to keep in mind that during this phase, the bacteria, some bacteria can form spores. And so that's essentially just like preserving themselves to be able to grow again when the environment is better. And then during this last phase, you have the long-term stationary phase, which pretty much no one talks about, so we won't talk about it. And that sums it up for this video. So I hope the four important things you get out of this video are that there are four phases of bacterial growth, the lag phase, the log or exponential phase, the stationary phase, and the death phase. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. Comment down below if you have any questions or concerns, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.